done a million webinars, especially since COVID. It's the first time I've seen a mid-webinar costume change. So I appreciate that, Matt. That was pretty nice. Um, so uh, real briefly, so I'm Mike DePalma. I'm the VP of Business Development uh, here at Datto. Um, I've been here eight years. And so, you know, I, what's been great about this is, you know, Datto kind of rode the same journey as the channel. We've been around for 18 years now. Uh, early on, the decision was made to be a channel-only company, probably the best decision that uh, Datto's ever made. And so it's been really cool. I started on the sales team and there's plenty of folks that I onboarded you know, eight years ago that now you see their face plastered on a pull-up banner at a Robin Robbins event or something like that, which is really cool. And, you know, business continuity has always been a really strong piece of what the managed service uh, offering is for a lot of our partners. Um, it's a good foot in the door. It's also one of those things that are just straight sticky. And I think, you know, we talk about backup and backup has come up a lot here. And obviously that's the theme of it, but really you need to stop talking about backup and talk about business continuity. Our team runs our marketing and developments fund program. So we're out talking to thousands of small business owners every single year. And I could tell you, if you start those conversations with, hey, I've got this cool backup solution I wanna show you, you're gonna get glazed over. They're gonna look at that as a commodity. Uh, what you're selling is the ability to have that continuity of operations. And what Datto has been doing, I mean, it used to be really easy when we started, 99% of the data lived on an on-premise Windows-based server, you back that up and you're good to go. Obviously now we know that data lives in a lot of different places. And so what Datto has really strived to do is make sure that we've got a solution in place for your client's data regardless of where it lives. So, you know, we have the on-premise series, which is still our, you know, flagship product, um, but we also back up virtual environments with that. We've got our SaaS protection products, uh, you know, for Microsoft 365. And we now have uh, data continuity for Microsoft Azure as well. So all of the functionality of what our Cirrus products do um, in, in, uh, in Microsoft Azure. So that's really critical. But ultimately, you know, we now have, I mean, now that we're you know, part of Kaseya, there's 35 different products we have. I mean, the flagship product remains BCDR. But I think when you're vetting any sort of product, there's three main things that most MSPs are looking at. One, first and foremost, is does this work? Um, I think Luis mentioned it earlier, you know, the easiest way to lose a client is to uh, have a great backup solution in place that you thought you had, and then all of a sudden you need to do one of these restores and it's not available to you. The easiest way to lose a client. So, you know, you wanna make sure that the product works. You wanna make sure that you're getting support. And yes, we have 24-7, 365 direct to tech support, uh, all US based, when I talk about support, it's actually support in terms of your, your growth strategy, your sales and marketing. I mentioned our marketing development fund program. We just doubled our budget globally, um, where we've got super strong analytics of every dollar that we've spent. We, we probably do about 500 different MDF campaigns every single year. You could jump on a call with me or somebody from my team and we could tell you, hey, here's the time of day that works, here's the format that works, the messaging, um, regionalized, right? If you're a Manhattan MSP, I'm not gonna tell you to do a lunch and learn, you're not gonna get anybody there. Um, you wanna do a breakfast, if you're down in Houston, Texas, those folks love uh, happy hours. I've probably been to every top golf in North America. Um, so we could help you not only just give you funds, but help you with the strategy and also send somebody out, send out a presenter um, to go do that. We do that on the webinar side as well. So I, I think when we talk about support, it really is just beyond the tech support that most people think about. And then the third thing is, can you make margin on any of these products, right? Um, you know, with data, we've got a flat fee. Um, there's no kind of nickel and diming for, for extra. You're gonna know exactly what your cost is and there is no MSRP. So our partners price the product in a lot of different ways. And I will tell you in terms of margin, and I'll talk about it uh, briefly at the end as well, but when you're thinking about margin, it's easy to say, okay, I got 40% markup here, 40% markup here, this is great. But what is the total cost of ownership of that product? How much time are you and your tech's gonna spend managing those backups? Um, we try to make it as simple as possible as a single solution that's gonna have the on-premise device subsequently sent off to those data centers that, that we manage. We've got one in Utah and one out uh, here in uh, Pennsylvania on the East Coast. Um, so it's you know, we own the software, we own the hardware and the cloud as well. So it's kind of that one throat to choke. There's no vendors pointing around. Um, but you know, when we talk about that best in class solution, you know, we've gone to market with a lot of different features that are patented by, patented by data. Uh, one of the big ones, the ransomware detection that came out um, has saved the bacon of a lot of different MSPs and a lot of small businesses. Um, the ability to detect ransomware and not looking at individual variants, there's a lot of products that are doing that, but when a, when a ransomware attack actually does get through, what we're looking at is that footprint that all these attacks uh, actually leave. We had a 
team of engineers who had a lot of fun actually infecting servers with live viruses to kind of come up with what that footprint looked like. And now you'll get an immediate alert. Hey, this looks like every other ransomware attack we've seen. And oh, by the way, here's your last clean backup. And he, you know, you're off and running. And you know, we're testing all these backups, very simple reporting. Um, what we're seeing out in the field too is that a lot of these small business owners are actually getting a lot smarter. It used to be simple. You go out and talk to small business owners, you knew you were the smartest person in the room. Now we're getting serious questions about, let's look under the hood, this vendor that you're working with, how secure are they? Um, that's why we did things like being the first one to market with mandatory 2FA. Um, I get, I'm getting questions now, do you have an immutable cloud? Yes, we do. That's not a question I used to hear out on the road from small business owners. Um, so we wanna make sure that you know, we're continuing to evolve because the, the space is getting crowded with a lot of really strong vendors and you know, competition breeds innovation. And so as we grow, and we're growing exponentially right now, uh, in the last six months of last year, we were adding a net new 78 new engineers every single month. So we are making sure that our roadmap is strong. You know, we we're first to market with things like the inverse chain uh, backup solution. I'll talk about that kind of at the end. Um, but screenshot verification, all that different reporting that you guys need. Um, and then when you talk about the deployment, it's very simple deployment. Um, very simple to manage. You or your techs are going to look at a single pane of glass, manage all of your backups. You're going to be getting those alerts. Uh, and more importantly, a lot of the new things that we've added are those reporting features so that you can go and you could show your client, these are all the great things that I'm doing. Um, we had a, a MSP, say the MSP report come out and we found, we talked to small business owners, 20% of the folks working in the managed service provider are working with them because they were not satisfied with their previous MSP. So they're understanding the need to, to work with, a, with one of you guys. It's a matter of not having the conversation of why should you outsource your IT? It's why should you outsource your IT to me, right? Why, why should you work with me? And so, you know, we're, the support that we have, you're gonna have a single point of contact, but also sales engineers that can help you with demos, my team that can go out and help you present or just have those business conversations. And ultimately, you know, what we're trying to do is, is not really change. We're just expanding with where the landscape has gone. So it's an image-based solution that's gonna take a full snapshot of that server. Um, you're gonna be able to set up that backup schedule. It could be done as often as every five minutes. Um, and then it's also gonna be subsequently sent off to the two data centers that I mentioned. But this is a mindset shift, again, from backup. If somebody's attacked, the common business owner is gonna say, okay, time to go buy a new piece of hardware and start that restoration. What you're saying is no, complete mindset. Michael, so you're attacked. Sorry, to, sorry to interrupt, but it's kind of wrap up time. Oh, yep. That's my last slide anyway. So, uh, you know, you're gonna try to get your business back up and running, that continuity of operations. That's what we're striving to do. So stop by our breakout session. I know we have uh, some folks waiting for you. Um, if you have any questions, obviously reach out to me and depama.dato.com. So.